The Last Samurai was released in the US on December 5th, 2003. Well acted, beautifully shot, with awesome battle scenes, the film was one of the biggest hits of the year. It made $450 million off of a $120 million budget and is notable for performing better in Japan than in the US. It stayed on the list of the top 10 highest grossing movies in Japan for nearly a decade. Though it remains a favorite historical epic for many, it drew criticism for its romantic portrayal of the samurai, who are often far less noble than those depicted in the film. And every few years, it seems to come under scrutiny after being labeled a white savior film. Those making the claim seem fixated not on the story, but on the marketing which does feature the non-Japanese actor. Tom Cruise. Among the film's defenders are co-star Ken Watanabe, who dismissed the categorization and put forward his belief that the movie transformed how Hollywood approached Asian characters and stories for the better. Fun fact, this was Watanabe's Hollywood debut and the first time he spoke English in a movie. He received the Best Supporting Actor nomination, but Tim Robbins ultimately took home the Oscar for his work in Mystic River.